Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Aini Shah, the owner of this YouTube channel. And today I am so excited to share with you guys my IKEA kitchen. Um, to give you a backstory, whenever you want to purchase an IKEA kitchen, apparently you have to wait a month after you make the purchase for it to be installed. So basically, IKEA hires a third party contractor for all its IKEA installation uh, for the kitchen cabinets. So we purchased and placed the order with the kitchen planner from IKEA about a month ago and we finally got it installed around two days ago. So that is why I'm so excited to kind of show you guys um, the look of my IKEA kitchen. Um, so yeah, it, I haven't done any much styling around the kitchen, but I thought that I'd just show you guys um, because it's really freshly installed. So now I'm going to give you guys a tour around my IKEA kitchen. Um, a lot a lot of natural light that is something that I have always wanted um, basically I have a bifold um, window near the sink area which I'm going to show you guys that is why a lot of natural light is seeping through the kitchen which I am totally happy about so behind here is my stove so this stove uh, is from Elba and then the cooker hood is from Renai. So I've always wanted this kind of stove where it's a gas stove but it has an a electric oven on the bottom. Um, I just feel like um, a professional chef, which I'm not, but it just gives that amazing vibe of the kitchen. It, it's a little bit old school, but it has that modern touch to it. I remember when I was growing up, my mom had this type of kitchen a long way back. Um, and I kind of want to bring this modern one into um, my own kitchen. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like a vlog style tour a little bit so that you guys are able to see the whole look of the kitchen. pronouncing this correctly, the encoping um, front of the kitchen cabinets and then the top is a solid, I think a solid wood that has like a marble effect to it. So at this base cabinet, what I did is like two wide drawers. So the first drawer has another hidden drawer inside which is this one. Uh, where I put all kind of like the utensils, the fork, the spoons and all kind of utensils that I may need while I'm cooking. So it's near the stove, so it's really easy for me to grab when I'm cooking. Um, so the hidden drawer is here, which I love. And then inside the drawer, I'm going to show you guys, is where I store kind of my, my plates and my bowls all up in the air. And then let's look at the bottom drawer. It's basically where I stall my kind of like pots and stuffware. So the deep um, depth of the uh, drawer allows me to put like all kinds of stuff that I need. Okay, and then we're gonna proceed to the next base cabinet, which is this spice rack pull out. So I have this 
basically to put the sugar, the spices, uh, vinegar, olive oil, anything I want into this pull-out um, cabinet, which, as I said, easy access when I'm cooking at the stove. So this is a, another feature of the IKEA cabinet, which I love. Next one is the stove. We got this stove from Elba that um, size could definitely fit a whole turkey in. It has five burners and then I haven't I haven't set the time there yet um, but on the top is a Rinai cooker hood. So the top cabinet here um, is where it was designed to kind of like like hide the kind of like chimney part of the cooker hood but it also has like kind of like storage space which you guys can like kind of put in anything so I just put this in um, but yeah basically it's hidden so you can only see this part of the cooker hood oh I forgot to show you guys that side of the upper cabinet okay so this side of the upper cabinet is basically where I store all my mugs and glasses right here so and even jugs so it's easy to kind of um, organize everything to kind of like use to drink in one um, area and it's easy to find let me zoom this up for you guys so that is the upper cabinet where all the mugs and the glasses and the ice cream bowls and even jugs are stored. And that area is where all the switches are on. Um, so I can kind of plug a blender in or a kettle in or even a rice cooker there. Even an air fryer if I want to kind of like cook and make a meal there. Okay, another thing that I want to show you guys regarding the switches is that one switch, which is currently turned on right now, is for the um, stove and the oven. So the main switch is at the back of the stove, um, which is really hard to kind of like switch on and off. So we asked the contractor to kind of make another switch here, which we can easily on and off whenever you want to use it or not and then this is the cooker hood um, switch so when it's turned on I can easily kind of push whatever um, I need to use for the cooker hood whenever I want to cook so I can show you guys the lighting of this um, you might not see much of the light because it's during daytime so there's a lot of like natural light coming in so that might overshadow this but I'm just showing you guys for the purpose of it and then whenever I want to turn it on that's a good uh, I normally just use one I mean turn this on so I normally use uh, one because it's already um, suctioning a lot of the um, smell already whenever I'm cooking so yeah I really really love the look of this so let's head on to the next part of the cabinet which is the corner area okay so as I told you guys this is a gas stove and you guys are wondering we do not have any gas line installed in the walls or anything but what we do have is a gas under inside no not under inside the cabinets basically so this is where it is hidden so this is where the gas is hidden inside so it looks aesthetically pleasing when you 
you know, don't have it on display in your kitchen. So it's hidden under here in the cabinet. Um, and then on this side of the cabinet, I'm going to show you guys, is where I store like other like plates, other silverware, other bowls, all up in there. And then this corner cabinet. I'm going to show you guys as well. This corner cabinet as well is just other extra plates and some of the Tupperware and plastic containers stored there. Okay, and this is basically the corner cabinet. Uh, inside is what I love is that I do not need to reach um, deep inside for me to get any pots or plates. I mean pots or pans that I want to use for cooking so it has like two racks here for me to kind of like pull in and out whenever I want to grab anything so you don't have to like go deep inside and get it and then this we want it to kind of like utilize as much space as we could possibly can with the kind of like IKEA cabinets. So this is where I think one of my design mistakes on this is because it should have been a pull out kind of like pull out drawer like what I did with the spice rack. But all is well, can't change that anymore. Um, so what we did initially is this kind of like narrow, small, like shelving right here and what is stored in here is basically all my son's uh, water bottles some of our water bottles but majority of his we have glass containers also installed there so that enables for us to kind of like utilize this space so that is your own little cabinet right mm -hmm. for all your water bottles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the farmhouse um, inspired kitchen sink that you know bought from IKEA as well. It has two um, like compartments here. So instead of the big one, I thought like let's do two. So at least one person is washing, one person is rinsing, and you can wash here or like drain it at the other side. Um, and this um, tap, it's not from IKEA. I got this from Shopee. I love the like brass. Um, vintage retro kind of look that it had okay, and then we're continuing like under the farmhouse sink it's basically just the under sink area I haven't done anything inside but um, I think I would utilize this kind of space to store any like cleaning products under there which would definitely help. I'm so sorry if the bad light, you guys. The sun, it's basically golden hour here. So the sun at this area would create a lot of the bad light there. So the end drawer here are just two basic drawers. I just store wet tissues, baking paper, paper plates, zip locks, and all of that. And I should have put another hidden drawer here, but this could be added later on, so there's no problem in that. And then the bottom drawer is just like my son's lunch boxes, his food picks, and other like plastic containers. Before I forgot, I should mention that this tile it has a handmade texture if you guys look at it closely which i love so it's not the typical straight um slick subway tile this subway tile has a little bit of um textured feel to it so it's not completely straight it has that kind of like wavy look going on there so the tiles are installed by me and the husband um, by ourselves we DIY this um, and I think it looks pretty good so I hope you guys enjoy my little IKEA kitchen tour if you like this video please click the like button and do subscribe to my channel bye